feel, I feel, I feel so alive. As I reach out, reach out, reach out, reach out to the sky. I found my way, I found my way. I was in the dark against it all, but made it do the day. Cause I found my way, I found my way. In bad times, I know I'll be okay Cause I find my way Cause I find my way Hello everyone, welcome back So today I'll be doing a very interesting video I'll be comparing my life here in Germany and my life back in Kenya in my village I was born in a small town in western Kenya so I didn't basically grow up in the village. So that is where we lived till I joined high school. So when I joined high school, then my mom moved to the village. My high school was a boarding school. So I used to spend three months in school, then one month for holidays with my mom, my family. After completing high school, I passed my exams. I joined university, which was very far from home because uh, my family, my village is in Western Kenya, but for university, I moved to Mombasa, which is a city and it's very far from Western Kenya. So I joined university, I lived in Mombasa for, uh, my my course was four years, but I ended up living in Mombasa for approximately six years. So after that, that is when I moved to Germany. Yeah, so anyway, that's the comparison I'll be doing today. When I uploaded my Kenyan village videos, some people used to question like, why are you doing things this way? But if you're African and you've experienced the village life, you know, it's all the same with city life. It's completely different. And that is how it is. That is how people do things in the village. That is just how it is. I don't know how to explain, but you can relate if you're African and you've experienced the village life. Life in Germany and life back in my village is completely different. Those are two different places. Both have their pros and cons. At the end of the day, there are things I love here in Germany, the things I don't like, and there are things I love in my village, there are things I don't like. Despite everything that will be said in this video, I love my village. It's always so precious to me when I go to my village with my family, my husband and son, and I show them around, I show them how life is done there. I want them to experience exactly how it is when I was growing up, what I experienced, and it's very precious to me. I cannot wait to go back again soon and just enjoy that life again because it's very refreshing. Yeah, stop fighting for food, you little chicken. Wow. We have a chicken coop behind our house in the village. So when I wake up in the morning, one of the first things I do is to open the door for them. Then my mom feeds them or I feed them. As you can see here, my mom was feeding the chicken. In my language, a chicken coop is called Odguen. <laughs> I can see it. The next thing I do is to wash the dishes before preparing breakfast. Washing the dishes here, I'm raising here and putting them here. You see how the chicken just walk around? They always come around. <laughs> they always come around to try to find food. We're just going to have a battle with this chicken here. May I throw a shoe? On the chicken? Well, if they were... <laughs> Not a shoe, you can just throw something little. A shoe is so big for the man. You want to kill my mother's chicken? No. Mama Slavi penja konya loba yongwenu, you watch. She says if you do that, you might kill them. Your shoe is heavy. Of course, I'm not throwing that, so I'm throwing... Just throw, you can just throw. Scare them, honey. Yeah, just scare them. Or if you're throwing something at them, just something little. Yeah. Like a small stone. That mm. them. You know how my mom cherishes her chicken. Hey. <laughs> she loves her chicken like I don't know what. Though years have gone by, I'm still in love with the way that you smile. Your eyes. I know that I will be with you the rest of my life. I will be with you until I stop. 
in germany when i wake up in the morning i take the dishes out of the dishwasher because i normally turn it on at night before i go to bed so in the morning it's just easy work for me i take them out After taking the dishes out of the dishwasher, I put them in their respective cabinets and put the cutlery in their cabinet. My mom, for. We used rainwater collected in the black water tank. Before we bought the water tank, we used to fetch water from a well. There are people who fetch water from the lake, especially those living close to the lake. Then there are others who fetch water from a pond, like this one here. I remember we used to use the same color of containers to fetch water from the well. <laughs> This is an example of a small well. Water inside is normally clean and you can use it for things like washing clothes, but not for cooking. Basically, normally at home, we use rainwater for cooking. You boil it, then you use it for cooking. I'm helping my mom wash some clothes. Yeah, she's the one washing, I'm rinsing and putting up here. <laughs> In the village, we wash clothes using our hands, then hang them in the wire line to let them dry. If you have many clothes, it can take a long time, more than 30 minutes. But if you have few clothes, it just takes some few minutes. With you, everything is complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on just to wake you up. When I dance around, I can't help but feel the do you need to put the clothes for a while before you start to wash them? She has to like soak them in yeah. for a while. Well, you or can. depends. You can. You can. But if you don't have to. Mm, okay. Unless they may be white clothes, so they're very dirty. I see. But if they're just not very dirty, you can just wash them right away. Okay. Give me love, give me all your love, oh, cause I want you. In Germany, I don't have to wash clothes using my hands. We have a washing machine, so normally I just put the clothes in the washing machine. I do this once or twice a week, then later put them in the dryer to dry. And we don't have to fetch water from anywhere. We use tap water when doing other things in the house. Swear that I'll stay here with you. So at home, most of the time, we use a gas stove to cook. Like you can see here, I was lighting it. And sometimes we use a jiko. Jiko is made of metal. It burns charcoal, allowing you to use it to cook. My mom was preparing ugali here. When cooking foods that take long to get ready, like githeri, if you're Kenyan, you know what githeri is. We normally use the three stone fireplace outside. As long as I can be here with you, everything's alright. Stay with you. 
in germany we use an electric cooker to prepare food here i was preparing kenyan tea so we don't use gas at all to cook and when you want to bake something in the oven we just use the oven that is beneath it this is something that i will get for my mom because nowadays we have electricity at home but i will get her the one that uses gas it's easy to use and she can also bake certain foods this is something that i will definitely get her Back in my village, the means of transport that majority of people use are the motorcycles, which we call them picky pickies, then there are the tuk-tuks, then the matatus. I remember when I was in high school, I used to travel using a matatu for five hours. My high school was approximately five hours away. So I used the matatu, I was using the matatu every holiday when going back home from school and when going back to school after the holidays. Most of the time we want to go somewhere we go by car um, i've used i've used the tram once uh, i've used the train twice or thrice so generally most of the time we want to go somewhere we go by car and they don't use matatus here they don't have tuk-tuks they don't have motorcycles in kenya we call them picky pickies people don't use that as a means of transport <laughs> you remember the tuk-tuks honey yeah, I the remember, tuk -tuks. yeah, I they, think we used one with you Because they twice. usually are made for 8 people But there are regularly more than 15 people inside No, the tuk-tuks are different The tuk-tuks oh, tuk -tuk are the oh, small those ones where two, you Yeah, two seats motorcycles Yeah, yeah where yeah, you sit like two the people tuk -tuk. or three maximum the, are, the others are matatus The others are matatus, yeah, yeah They are overcrowded too Yeah <laughs> this is the tram i was talking about many people in germany use this as a means of transport and finding a parking space in the cities is very difficult so if you don't want to keep going round and round finding a parking space it's just very convenient to use a tram i want to know you better give me every detail i won't judge you as you know i could stay forever In my village, groceries are sold in stalls like this one. They just arrange them this way, and so when you go to buy, you just choose what you want. Honey, what do you want? You want mangoes? I want mango. I want uh, one ananas. We have ananas. Eggs we have. Oh, ananas we have. Only two, unless you want another one. We have two? Yeah, we have two. Uh, this is how our marketplace looks like on a day like this it was not a market day so there are not many people but on a market day which is normally every thursday it's full you cannot just even just walking through and passing to go where you want to go to is a problem it's completely full so this day we were very lucky because there were few people so we could just shop comfortably and buy everything we needed so this is the groceries area but when you walk a few meters ahead you'll find the place where clothes are sold every thursday during school holidays me and my sister would go there to buy clothes every single thursday to buy mtumba <laughs> oh, wow. we used to spend so much time in the market trying to find clothes that we wanted my mom would complain over and over again but you know when you go to buy clothes in mtumba area many clothes are put there so you just have to take your time trying to find exactly what you want we used to spend so much there. <laughs> we have arrived finally. Marcelo, yeah. what should we buy? So here we do all our grocery shopping in the supermarket. It's not an open air market like the one we have in my village. Whenever we want to buy groceries, we just go to the supermarket and buy everything there. Hmm. This is very bad. Whoa. Marcelo, do you want bananas? We need some bananas, okay? 
for clothes we buy our clothes at clothes stores here i was at engelhorn buying winter jackets and winter coats because winter was approaching give me your strength and show me your weakness we're in this together now we're in this together now give me your love and tell me your secrets we're in this together now my mom has a big garden in the village where she plants maize kales someone told me they're called green collards beans and uh, also groundnuts so she doesn't have to buy all vegetables from the market she can just get some from her garden here i was cutting kales from her garden so we just take it from the garden and cut it and prepare it even if we're falling down so here we use a vacuum cleaner to clean the floors while back in my village we use water and a mop to mop the floor Cause we're in this together now You and me together now so with all that being said i love both places because they have different meanings to me the family i'm building is here and my other family is in kenya so thank you guys for watching please remember to subscribe and see you in the next video ciao Mwah. bye Someone like you.